well, hard work pays off as seawater grain produced from salt-affected soil. At present, more than 1,100 million hectares of soil are affected by salinity and sedicity, which degrade soil properties. Of this total, 60% of the soil is saline, 26% sodic, and the remaining 14% saline sodic. China has 100 million hectares of salt-affected soil, about the size of Egypt, and one-third of this soil has the potential for agricultural activities. In order to solve this problem, China has made a lot of efforts. In the past 10 years from 2012 to 2022, seawater rice has been widely promoted in China, reaching a total of 400 square kilometers. At the end of 2022, the planting area of seawater rice in China has been expanded to nearly 670 square kilometers. However, some people think that this is a waste of effort, because the taste of the seawater rice is very unpalatable, even if it is planted, it will not be sold. So, what exactly is seawater rice? Why does China grow such an unpalatable food on a large scale? Is it irrigated with seawater? Okay. That and more is exactly what we are going to talk about, and let's get started. 1. What is seawater rice? Does it really taste that bad? As a large country with a population of 1.4 billion, food security has always been the focus of China's attention. And after entering the 21st century, the problem of global food shortage has become more and more serious and the number of people suffering from hunger continues to grow. Faced with such a situation, Yuan Longping, a world-famous Chinese agricultural expert who cultivated hybrid rice, turned to a new field on the basis of the original rice hybrid research, that is, the research and cultivation of seawater rice. Seawater rice was discovered by Professor Chen Rishing in 1986. When he was investigating mangroves by the sea, he discovered these seawater rice. The plants are very tall and look like reeds from a distance. When they stepped forward to peel off the grains on the plants, they saw the red rice grains. The wild rice that grows on the beach is, in a sense, grown by seawater irrigation, because every time the tide rises, the seawater will submerge the rice fields. But the seawater rice we are talking about today is actually a more general term, and does not specifically refer to those that grow by the sea. Seawater rice is essentially a common name for saline alkali tolerant rice, which can grow normally no matter in coastal tidal flats or dry saline alkali land. Previously, Yuan Longping made it clear that if the research experiment of seawater rice can be carried out as planned, then the planting will be promoted nationwide, and the planting area will reach about 66,700 square kilometers. However, rice produced in saline alkali land does not seem to be recognized by everyone. Because nowadays, people have higher and higher requirements for the taste of rice. Many people who have tried sea rice said that the rice produced by this type of rice is particularly hard to eat and difficult to chew. Of course, the salty taste or seafood taste that everyone expected does not exist, and its taste is actually similar to ordinary rice. As for the problem that the rice is too hard to swallow, it can actually be solved by soaking it in water for a period of time before putting it in the pot for steaming. But in any case, judging from the current situation, the public's acceptance of seawater rice is relatively low. Even if this variety of rice is promoted on the market in the future, there may not be many people who buy it. Then, why does China grow such an unpalatable food on a large scale? Compared with ordinary rice, Seawater rice has many advantages besides being able to be grown in saline alkali land with a certain concentration, and saving freshwater resources. 1. Different characteristics. Ordinary rice can only be planted and grown in freshwater areas such as plains and mountains, and its resistance to flooding is also poor. But seawater rice is more adaptable to the environment. In addition to being resistant to salt and alkali, it also has the characteristics of resistance to pests and diseases, and resistance to waterlogging. 2. Different appearance. Seawater rice looks higher than ordinary rice in appearance. For example, the plant height of seawater rice 86 can reach 1.8 meters to 2.3 meters, which is equivalent to 2 to 3 times the height of ordinary rice. In addition, because seawater rice is rich in selenium, the color of rice after threshing is generally carmine red, 
which is also different from ordinary rice. 3. Different nutrition. Seawater rice is richer in nutrients and has higher nutritional value than ordinary rice. 100 grams of ordinary rice generally contains only 6.7 grams of protein. Seawater rice is rich in nutrients such as fat, sodium, calcium, magnesium and protein. Each 100 grams of seawater rice contains 14.6 grams of protein, 17.6 milligrams of sodium and 0.5 grams of lipids. For dot different taste. After investigation, it was found that the seawater rice rice has a very strong rice fragrance, and the taste is soft and glutinous, but also very chewy. So, what problems will sea rice face in its development? First, different from the low cost of ordinary rice planting and the low requirements for planting technology, the initial investment and use of seawater rice planting is relatively large. For example, when selecting saline alkali land, it is necessary to ensure that its salinity is within a controllable range, and most saline alkali lands in China have a salinity of about 10%. In this case, it is necessary to lay underground pipes for salt drainage first. Second, at present, seawater rice still has no good sales in the market. Although it is called green and pollution-free, few people recognize its function. This is mainly because the relevant publicity is not in place and a resounding brand has not been cultivated. Many people don't even know where and how sea rice grows, so they don't have the desire to actively buy it. So, can seawater rice be grown directly in seawater? Seawater rice, also known as saline alkali tolerant rice, can be grown in saline alkali soils. This is because the concentration of the root hair cell sap of seawater rice is sufficiently high compared to ordinary rice. In the saline alkali land with high salinity environment, due to the high salt concentration, the water in the root hair cells of ordinary rice flows from the inside to the outside, and the cells are easy to lose water. And in a high salinity environment for a long time, a large number of salt ions will flood into the cells, causing the normal metabolism in the cells to be disrupted, resulting in plant poisoning or deformity and death. Seawater rice has a large enough concentration of root hair cytosol to reduce its cellular water loss, and can absorb enough water and salt avoidance, so that the salt ions that are about to enter the cells are concentrated in the vesicles, avoiding the diffusion of salt ions in the cells. Therefore, although seawater rice is different from ordinary rice, it can grow in saline alkali land and has a strong resistance to salinity and alkalinity. But the basic condition that a large amount of fresh water is still needed to irrigate and wash salt cannot be ignored, so as to avoid the excessive difference between the salinity in the environment and the salinity in the cell. By the way, more than 80% of the seawater irrigation water is fresh water. The common solution is to mix and dilute seawater with fresh water to prepare brackish water with a certain concentration. The specific method is to dilute seawater with a salt content of 3 to 3.5% into irrigation water, with a concentration of 0.6%, of which fresh water accounts for 80% to 83%. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comment section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.